The story of her life resembles the plot of a strange fairy tale, in which a good end is not at all visible. Instead of a room, a dirty attic, instead of food, leftovers, instead of friends, rats. Sort of like a French Cinderella of the 19th century. Dot dot. Why was Blanche Monnier so guilty that she spent 25 years in prison? One would think that we are talking about a dysfunctional family, but this is not at all the case. Monnier was born on March 1, 1849 in the city of Poitiers, France, in a wealthy family that belonged to an aristocratic family. She was not an only child, Blanche had a brother. Their father worked as the dean of a local university, and their mother was still that socialite. Moreover, the girl's parents were very pious. It would seem that Blanche had all the cards in her hands, sumptuous dinners, social receptions, conversations about the high, noble gentleman. I don't want to play. And besides, Monier was distinguished by a pretty appearance, a small neat face, long curly hair, a thin graceful figure. The real ideal of female beauty of that time. Her modesty and timidity attracted men like a magnet, but the girl was in no hurry to choose a partner. While the domineering mother of Louise Leonard was looking for a worthy match for her daughter, she started an affair with a certain Charles Emile. The matter even went to the wedding, but there was no special sympathy between the son-in-law and the mother-in-law. Still would. An ordinary lawyer, who was much older than Blanche, clearly did not meet Louise's rigid requirements. The mother strictly forbade her daughter to continue relations with this ragamuffin. But what to do, as you know, you can't order the heart. Here, the classic plot of any melodrama is directly asked. A man and a woman, distraught with love, fled, like two teenagers, from their parents who did not understand, medieval frames and stereotypes. They were searched for with dogs, but they were never found. It would be nice, but the story turned out a little differently. Someone really disappeared, namely Blanche. Neighbors and acquaintances were at first seriously wary, but then they decided that Mademoiselle had died in an accident. They quickly forgot about the unexpected disappearance, they say, and there are enough of their own problems. Only Charles Emile did not calm down. The failed groom continued to search for his beloved almost until his death. He died in 1885, and Father Monnier had also died three years earlier. If the unfortunate lover had known during his lifetime where to look for. Dot dot. As it turned out, Blanche did not even cross the threshold of her house. She spent 25 years in the attic, this is exactly the fate her mother prepared for her. With the stubbornness of her daughter, the woman decided to fight with her own educational method, to lock her in a room. It would seem, well, what's wrong? Who was not put in a corner in childhood, was not put under house arrest. Everything would be fine if the revered Louise Leonard did not go completely off the rails. For 25 years, Monier did not see the sun at all, ate leftovers from the table, shared a bed with insects and rats. What is a shower, comb, toothbrush Blanche forgot and even more so. She was found when the woman was 49 years old. The 25-kilogram creature was covered with a veil of her own hair and did not at all look like that French thief of men's hearts from the past. You must have had a lot of questions. Did none of the passers-by and neighbors ever notice anything suspicious? Where was Monier's father, her brother? Surely there was no justice for the distraught mother? People, as it became known later, had long suspected something was wrong. From the direction of Blanche's house they often heard frantic groans and cries for help. The father did not know anything about the captive, and his son, who was aware of the matter, did not particularly spread, and he was in no hurry to help his sister. If at least one of the caring passers-by sounded the alarm earlier, everything could have ended differently. But such good people, unfortunately, were not found. Only on May 23, 1901, a letter was delivered to the Prosecutor General's office. The sender wished to remain anonymous. The letter told about a terrible crime, about a maiden who has been living in confinement in the house of Madame Monnier for 25 years. 
The police were extremely surprised when they found the unfortunate Blanche. During the search of the house, Louise Lenarda behaved at ease, drinking coffee. She didn't even seem to understand what was going on. Madame Monnier went to the police in the company of her son. She did not wait for the trial, she died in a cell 15 days after her arrest. The incapacitated Marseille was acquitted. If you are still hoping for a happy ending, then I hasten to disappoint you. Monnier spent the rest of her days in a psychiatric hospital in Boisset. She died at the age of 64. This story seems to be fiction until the last line. But, unfortunately, it is true. Blanche's mother turned out to be a real tyrant, and the girl was very unlucky. Speaking of cruelty and evil, we often think of murderers, maniacs and rapists. Male names come to mind? But how could it be otherwise? After all, a woman is a mother, it is tenderness and love. But history shows that indescribable unimaginable cruelty sometimes settled in a fragile female heart. Thank you for your attention. See you soon.